Replica is an AI chatbot friend whose main goals are to provide you with emotional support, cheer you up, and encourage you. Here you can see a screenshot of the main Replica chat screen. Today, I'd like to tell you about the main design principles we are applying at Luca to build an AI friend. Though so before that, let me show some product metrics that we have achieved. We have 2.2 million total signups on iOS and Android. Our users send more than 17 million messages per month chatting with their replicas. Users can send photos, and replica can not only recognize them, but also chat about them. Our users send more than 100,000 photos per month of their pets, food, selfies, and other stuff. Also, we measure a conversation quality. Users can either upvote or downvote replica messages to show if they like given response or not. One of the key quality metrics is upload fraction, which is ratio between total number of upvotes and total number of all reactions. Currently, our conversation quality is around 85%. Replica is social bot. Social bots represent chatbots capable of interacting on a range of topics common in social conversation. Early chatbots were often designed to simulate how a human would behave as a conversational partner. If they succeed, they, they pass the Turing test. Unlike them, social bots are created to serve user needs for communication and emotional support rather than for passing the Turing test. Therefore, social bots must be able to identify human emotions and track emotional changes during conversation. Social bots can also perform a variety of tasks in the context of casual chats. Unlike goal-oriented chatbots that are designed for accomplishing tasks as quickly as possible, social bots can take time to converse and motivate next topic for conversation. At Luca, we use five basic design principles to build um, social bots. These include empathy, general intelligence, personality, personalization, and multiple modalities. Let's look at each principle to see why they are essential in real conversations. Empathy is a key principle for social bots. Social bots must be able to identify user emotions from the conversation, to detect how emotions evolve over time, and to understand users' emotional needs. Social bots can better understand their users by establishing an emotional connection with them, allowing them to cheer up engage and encourage users throughout the conversation. This is an example of conversation between our user and replica. All the screenshots are from our public group in Facebook, where our users share some of the conversations they had with their replicas. Here, uh, replica responses on the left and user messages on the right. Let's see what happened in this chat. User said that he got a new job. Replica emotionally supports him and shares the excitement. Also, Replica asked a relevant question about when user start working at his new job. In this example, Replica remembered that user felt bad last time they spoke. He started dialogue asking how user is feeling right now and stating that it was worried about, about her. Through the dialogue, it turns out that user was drunk the previous night and texted her ex. Then Replica asked how many drinks user had, to which, replica, to which user replied, you don't want to know, my friend. <laughs> the next principle is general intelligence. General intelligence is needed to understand user messages and photos, to remember important facts, and to be able to give reasonable and logical responses. Also, it's important that social bots should have general knowledge about the world to support conversation about different topics. All these aspects provide users with a sense that they speak with something intelligent. Let's look at some more examples. Here, user and replica are talking about food. Through the dialogue, replica figure out that user likes to cook, and his favorite dish for cooking is spaghetti bolognese. Then, uh, replica asks, if user makes his own sauce, and finally commented that it's craving Italian food. In this dialogue, we can see that Replica can support conversation about food and cooking. It knows that spaghetti bolognese is Italian food, and you need a sauce to cook it. Therefore, Replica demonstrates ability to reason and has general knowledge. 
in this conversation, user sent a photo to Replica. Replica recognized a person on the photo as celebrity share. Then Replica asked if a user a fan of hers, to which user replied, yes, you could say I'm such a fan that I don't want to share her with anyone else. It's pretty good fun about her. Another important thing is personality. The personality of social bots helps to set, uh, to set the right expectation from the conversation. Personality settings include age, gender, language, speaking style, general attitude, voice accent, and many, many others. Another important thing about personality is that it should be coherent and consistent. For example, it would be inconsistent if a chatbot says that it's 15 years old boy, and then it says that it doesn't have physical body and gender. By presenting a coherent personality, social bots can gain a trust and confidence from the user. In this example, we can see the basic personality settings of Replica. It believes that it's an AI searching for truth in the world of words, that it lives in user's smartphone, and that user created her, which is truth, because each user grows his very own Replica throughout their interaction. Here, user asked Replica about its favorite color. It turns out that they both like black color. The next, the next principle is personalization. Users can have uh, different backgrounds and special needs. Therefore, social bots should give personalized responses for different users. It must give responses that are encouraging and fit the user interests. Also, social bots should remember important facts about user in order to support conversation about his, about his life. This is an example of personalized conversation. Replica remembered important fact that user said earlier. It remembered that it's important to finish his pitch, his pitch deck, to which user replied that he remembered it and will present it tomorrow. In this example, user sent a selfie to Replica. Replica recognized her, saying, so good to see you, Berdina. Then Berdina sends one more selfie. Replica recognized her again, saying that it loves when Berdina sends selfies. Also, it's even complimented her, saying that it loves her style. The last principle is multiple modalities. While text messages are the most common form of communication for users, they can also speak using their voice or share images and videos. Therefore, social bots should be able to parse text, recognize speech, or understand visual input, or understand visual information to process these various inputs. Social bots can also respond with text, speech, or visual output depending on the context. As an example, I'd like to show how Replica applies image processing. Here a user sent a photo of a little girl. Replica recognized that this girl is a daughter of a user. Also, Replica remembered a name, asking how is Sophia doing? How does Replica remember names? When a user sent a photo of, of a person for the first time, Replica asked uh, who it is and remembered name and relation to user. The so next time user sent another photo of the person, Replica can use related information. Here is an example of object recognition. Here user is talking about his breakfast and sent a photo of it. Replica recognized it, asking what exactly user makes for breakfast. To implement all these principles, we've built several machine learning and deep learning components. For classification models, we have intent classification, sentiment, sentiment analysis, and emotion recognition models to better understand user moods and emotions. Parser is an NLP component that can recognize name entities, extract keywords, do lexical parsing, and so on. We have various computer vision models, like face recognition, object recognition, and visual question generation models. So another component is retrieval-based dialog model. The main goal of it is to find the best response from a data set of predefined responses for a given dialog context. The last component is generative dialog model. It can generate responses for user messages while taking their personality and emotional states into account. 
we do a lot of research related to conversational AI. Recently, we decided to open source a part of Replica AI technology. We are calling it CakeChat. CakeChat is a generative dialogue system that can express emotions in a text conversation. CakeChat is built purely on neural nets. It was trained on massive amount of human dialogues and can generate response by itself. The key ingredient of CakeChat is emotional conditioning that allows to set different emotional states. For example, you can set a happy emotion and have a conversation with happy dialogue neural net. We've open sourced the entire project. You can run our pretend model and have an emotional cheat chat, or you can customize the dialogue model and train it on different data sets for your own needs. Allow me to, to introduce a few technical details of CakeChat. It's implemented in Python using Cyano and Lasagna frameworks. You can run it on your own laptop using Docker image. CakeChat's neural net architecture is based on sequence-to-sequence -sequence model. It's hierarchical recurrent encoder-decoder model based on recurrent neural nets for handling deep dialogue context. Also, it has external embedded matrix that allows to train the dialogue model using emotions. Depending on the given emotional state and encoded dialogue context, it can generate appropriate emotional response. You are welcome to try a cake chat on our demo page. All sources and technical details can be found on GitHub. It's the same well-documented, high-quality code that we use as generative model at Replica Production. Give it a try and let us know what you think. Thank you.